I'm Cheryl Wills, your friend from Spectrum News, New York One, and I'm excited to be your host today. Thank you so much for joining us for Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow fall virtual fundraising event, Building Futures, Recovery, and Beyond on what is Giving Tuesday. You all know what Giving Tuesday is. This is the day when Americans are encouraged to open their hearts and their wallets and give to organizations that are giving back to the community all year round. And that's what Giving Tuesday is all about. And that's why we're here tonight. The first Giving Tuesday after Thanksgiving. That's where we are. And it's recognized as a global generosity movement, unleashing the power of people and organizations to transform their communities and the world. So now you know what Giving Tuesday is. Now you know why we're having this event on this very special day. And we are going to show you some incredible testimonials to show you why it is important to give back to OBT. This organization, I wouldn't be here if I couldn't vouch for it. Let me just say that. This organization is doing the work. They really are. A lot of, I'm a newscaster. A lot of people will watch the news and see what young people are going through and shake their heads and move on. OBT doesn't do that. The great staff with OBT, they're not shaking their heads and moving on. They're rolling up their sleeves and getting down to work. You see, there are people who can watch and criticize, and there are people who are moved to action. That's OBT. These are New Yorkers who are moved to action, and they are saving our young people at risk. That's why I'm here today. I support everyone who will take the time to save young people at risk. Some of you may say, well, what are you doing other than being on television? Very quickly, let me tell you what I'm doing. I visit schools all over this country, including in the city. I go to some of the schools in the poorest school districts in the nation, PS 55, call Mr. Torres and ask him. Okay, that's why I support OBT, because I understand that the power of this country lies in its young people. Everything we're doing, we're leaving to them. And OBT is preparing young people to take over, to take over city hall, to take over newsrooms, to take over operating rooms, to take over courtrooms. This organization is doing the work. So I encourage you on this Giving Tuesday, let's invest in our young people. OBT has taken steps to ensure that its students don't get left behind. And speaking as a journalist, kind of on the front line, seeing what's happening, too many of our children are being left behind. And OBT is ready to benefit from this digital transformation. At OBT, two tech-focused training programs aim to help students dive right in. The Cloud Support Engineering Program and the Digital Marketing Program. These training programs are amazing. And the goal is pretty simple, to help students jumpstart their careers and stand out among all others. So let's watch this amazing clip to learn more about OBT's dedication of service. The mission of Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow is to break the cycle of poverty through education, skills training, and employment. This past year has been challenging, and we are also incredibly proud of what we have been able to achieve. Whether through our high school equivalency or English as a second language classes, career readiness and college access workshops, or industry certified trainings in technology, healthcare, and construction. We at OBT know that paths are not linear and we're proud of how we help people achieve their goals. One of our main priorities was to stay connected with our young adults. We couldn't afford to lose any one of them during the pandemic. So we put together a strategic plan to engage, reach out, and do consistent follow-up. Everyone at OBT, from the teaching staff to the students. Great, great. OBT helped me transition into technology by teaching me the basics and the foundations of technology. I've learned a lot in the program. Pushing yourself, patience. What makes it different is you're not only learning, you're also building relationships. Even to this day, I still speak to a lot of my cohorts from the group. We knew we were all leaving there with 
a career and training and opportunity, but we didn't realize we would be leaving with lifelong friends. The staff was great. You can tell they really care about what they're doing and they care about giving us the help that we need to succeed in the future. This last year has been intense. My biggest takeaway is how resilient my team has been. Across the board, they've stepped up to ensure that our program continues to operate at a high quality and that we continue to support each other. At the end of the day, we were able to meet the needs of our young ones, you know, during the pandemic. And that's something that we are most proud of today. Now, wasn't that just amazing? I'm inspired. I hope you are too. OBT has truly made a difference in the lives of so many across this great city of ours. To continue building on OBT's foundation, they recently entered its next phase, OBT 4.0. Let me tell you about it. Dr. Darlene Williams joined OBT on September 7th as its new chief executive officer. Since joining OBT, she's already developed her vision for the organization, and this is it. Mission possible. On to the next level and beyond. Love that. With her leadership and the great team of educators, job developers, and strategic partnerships, OBT is well positioned now to grow and serve our city, but we need your help. We really do. So now let's hear from Dr. Williams. Thank you, Cheryl, for supporting our mission, Building Futures, Recovery, and Beyond. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Darlene Williams, and I am the president and CEO of opportunities for a better tomorrow. Today we celebrate the achievements of our students, dedicated members of the OBT team, partners, and supporters. For all of us here at OBT, we remain focused on our mission, breaking the cycle of poverty and inequity through education, job training, and employment. Our vision to strengthen the workforce by serving as a bridge to economic opportunity is critical for our participants during these unprecedented times. It is the collective ownership and passion you have all shown that has sustained OBT for nearly 40 years. And today, you showed up once again to help strengthen the digital infrastructure our participants need to thrive in a digitally transformed economy. One of the things that the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted is that technology is essential for economic success. 2020 truly magnified the gap in access to technology and the need to provide our young people with skills-based training to increase their ability to be marketable in the digital workforce making our work more important than ever before. We approach this Giving Tuesday with a focus on the experiences of program graduates and the incredible impact that OBT staff have had over the past year. For nearly 18 months, our team and students adapted to virtual learning. They were excited to reopen our classrooms this past fall. So through the consistent shifts and changes we all saw in 2020, we remain solid. So today, you will have the opportunity to experience that strength and that influence through the lens of our graduates, board of directors, and partners. You will see the determination, the empathy, the resilience, and our fierce commitment to ensure the success of every single person. I extend my gratitude and appreciation to the community of partners, our donors, employers, our friends, existing and new, who purchased sponsorships and tickets to support the event tonight. I wanna especially thank our OBT team for making this first virtual Giving Tuesday event a success. And as we continue the program with the amazing Cheryl Wills as our guest host, I encourage you to stay connected to us so that you can witness how your partnership helps individuals all across the city have access 
to a better tomorrow. Thank you. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Vincent Chirico. I'm board chair of Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow. I've been on the board for 15 years, and this has been a labor of love for me from the very get-go. Um, this is uh, this is an organization that's very near and dear to my heart. It's kind of like my personal story. Um, I'm an immigrant, and we came here when I was seven years old. Didn't know the language and we didn't have any of the opportunities that we recognize since that are available to us. And it was only because of, uh, through the help of others that we were able to uh, find the opportunities and I was the first one to graduate from college uh, and, and to, to go to law school and to become the attorney that I am today. Um, the successes that I've had have been very much because of other people that have been there for me and for my family at the time. So I couldn't really uh, continue what I, uh, I'm doing without recognizing. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that we've been given uh, throughout my childhood and, and, and maturity years that um, I, I feel the need to give back uh, and, and give back in a meaningful way. And I couldn't find a more meaningful way to do so than to serve on the board of OBT and to watch as other individuals uh, get help in being provided with opportunities to, to improve their lives and to create a future for themselves that's meaningful to them. Um, I remember when I first joined the board, the organization was about 75% smaller than it is now. And it was only, it was throughout that first 10 years that we really quadrupled in size and we were able to reach many more uh, disadvantaged young adults, um, opportunity youth, and uh, to the point where now we're really, I believe we're making a, a significant inroad in providing opportunities to many people throughout New York City. One of the things that I'm most proud of in terms of OBT's development over the years is how we've been able to transform from an organization that provides just a general equivalency high school diploma and perhaps uh, access to college and uh, access also to opportunities and entry-level jobs to where we are now. Now we're really focused on targeting certain specific industries where there's a high demand and we're also, there's an opportunity to provide our youth with meaningful futures and with living wage jobs. And what, I, what I'm particularly proud of is the work that we're doing in our cloud computing and tech programs, uh, which provide that entry point for really meaningful futures for our young adults. Um, we also uh, now have other targeted programs, including our medical administrative assistant uh, pr uh, program and certifications, as well as the work we do in hospitality. And now we're embarking on a new um, apprenticeship program in the labor and construction industry, uh, all particularly targeted industries that are much in demand now. So I, I think that OBT now is well poised to really take on the future of work and professionalism in the workforce and therefore maximize the opportunities that we can provide to our young adults. We can't do this without your help. One of the most difficult things I've ever had to deal with is ask people for support. Um, very proud, uh, very proud background. We always want to be self supporting and self-guiding, but the reality is that it really does take a village. And it took a village to get me and my family to where we are today, and it's no different with the youth and young adults today. Uh, so as a necessary uh, function of that, um, you know, we do need your support and we thank you for your support. And for those of you who haven't had an opportunity to do that, I welcome you to, uh, to link up to either the link that's provided to you or, uh, or uh, to by going on the OBT website, which is obtjobs.org, and go to the donate page and help the next uh, series of, dis of disadvantaged young adults uh, really get a chance to see their future. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. It's really great to know that OBT has strong leadership with a connection and passion for the work you do. We wish you the best of luck as you take this leadership position to the next level. You know, there's an old saying, 
If you find a job you love, you will never have to work a day in your life. Well, the compassion you have for this work goes a long way. So again, thanks to both of you. Now, during the pandemic, we all saw ourselves with many challenges on our hands. For OBT, one of their biggest challenges was keeping our students engaged and continuing to deliver quality training in a safe and effective way. It wasn't easy, but they got the job done. OBT sprang into action and distributed laptops to students to enable them to participate in virtual classrooms and keep learning during a very difficult time for the entire education system. Join me now as we hear from the following students about how technology helped them remain connected and successful with OBT during the pandemic. Hi, my name is Kaylin Diaz and I'm a recent graduate of OBT's Cloud Support Engineering program. Some ways that the OBT program affected me and impacted my life is that it really put back like a passion in my life for trying new things and learning things. Because when I started the program, I kind of felt like really stagnant like in my life. And I kind of like felt like I lost like, like my fire and like passion for doing things. And like everyone in the program all the facilitators and all the other participants were really like pushing and trying for everyone to graduate. They wanted had everyone's best interest at heart and they wanted everyone to really be able to succeed. And that's like a really good feeling. So yeah, it really helped me gain back some like passion for doing things and like that trickled down into other parts of my life and really helped me in my other hobbies as well. Some key skills that we learned during the program, um, I think one of the most important ones was a soft skill actually, which was having difficult conversations. I think it's a really important skill to have and to work on because not only does it help in professional situations, it also helps in your personal life. So it's a really good skill to have. And I think that it was really important that we went over it in so much detail. And another skill would be a hard skill or a technical skill. We learned a lot of them, but one that comes to mind is the AWS certification, actually. The AWS certification, uh, before this program, I had no prior experience with anything technical, really. I never did tech in school or did any technical programs before. So it was all pretty new to me, but all the instructors really helped a lot. Uh, Eli, who was our main technical instructor, for all things AWS was really great. He was always down for any questions. You could always set up a call with him. He was always ready to help. He had so many resources and like so many links that he would send you who just asked him a question. So I like really take advantage of all the instructors, especially Eli, if you're having trouble with tech stuff, he's always ready to help. And if he can help you, you definitely can find someone or something, some type of resource that will help you. So I never felt like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't really understand this because I always had someone to turn to in the program. And when I got the certification, I was, first of all, I was really proud because, you know, it was something that I did really fast, a really quick turnaround. There's a lot of studying in a very short period of time, but, you know, I stuck with it and I got it. And it opened up a lot of doors because it shows someone you have a basic like knowledgeable understanding of a service. And through that, there's a lot of different routes you can go. You can go on to higher advanced certifications. Like you can take the AWS solutions, the architect solutions exam, and that opens up even more doors. So I think it's a very good networking tool, like especially to begin with. And then really, it really helps you decide what field you want to go in if you decide to go into the AWS field. Um, I'm using my AWS certification. It really helps when applying for jobs. People like to see that you have certifications, especially the AWS one. It opens a lot of doors for interviews. And even if you don't get the job or it's not like in a field that you thought you may have wanted, it's really, really good for networking. It really helps to talk to people and just get your foot in certain doors. So that's really good, a way that the, the certifications help. So now I'm doing an internship and I'm helping a company with web design and social media marketing. And what I hope to be doing in the future is something with web design, video editing, and maybe a little bit of programming.
This program would be really beneficial to anyone looking for a career in tech because of how just everyone wants you to succeed. There's so many resources to do whatever you want to do. And if you're kind of like someone like me who didn't really know what they wanted to do, do they just wanted to try something in the tech field? There's so much for you to try that you'll figure it out. Like there's so many ways and resources that are provided to you to help you. So that's what I feel like really makes this program stand out from any others is that there's countless resources available to you to help you. Hello, my name is Aaron Nurse and I went to OBT's program for digital marketing. This program, the OBT digital marketing program has been definitely beneficial for me, uh, so much so that I can literally call this trade my own. Uh, I love the fact that the staff and teachers, they've all been able to work beside me and they never give up, they um, work hard, you know, uh, for you so that you can keep on gaining the experiences that you need uh, to fulfill this trade. So I would say that's one of the huge impacts that I got from this program. Um, some of the key skills that I got from um, OBT would be the fact that I know how to conduct businesses for others, um, making digital um, art, like logos, flyers, posters, um, conducting uh, frequent conversations, whether it's through Zoom or physical, um, and of course, um, we're acquiring people skills. So, um, and you know, there's so much more, but I think those are the high, the top highlights of the skills that I got from this program. These skills have, a, have a helped me to broaden out my ideas, things that I never thought I would have from when I started to jump. Um, I'm right now making portfolios um, for my freelance work, and I've also been able to get um, some clients on the side, you know, because they've seen my work. So I would say the skills to reaching out, talking to people, showing up, you know, the work that I did previously has definitely improved because of the tech skills that uh, OBT has given to me. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a portfolio and a web page for myself and my clients so that they can see my work and even hire me as a freelance digital marketer. Um, what I want to go next is to work for bigger corporations like uh, Google, Facebook, even Amazon. Uh, I want my name to be known and I want them to see, you know, uh, other clients out there to see what work I am capable of. I want to say thank you again for OBT for uh, giving me the opportunity and chance um, teaching me this trade, um, strengthening me in this um, trade in this field um, and eventually you know in due time um, helping me to get, get on my feet on my own um, to uh, use this trade um, in the best way I can. Awesome. That is just awesome. And a child shall lead them, right? It's so inspiring to hear from these students who were able to overcome adversity and push through during such a difficult year. We wish them the best of luck as they go forward in their studies. Especially now, COVID has really taught us the importance of technology, right? That's how this event is even able to happen. I'm coming to you from my desktop and you're connected to me probably through your laptop or your phone but we're still able to celebrate obt and their steadfast commitment to strengthening the workforce and it matters now more than ever during this digital transformation era you know, I'm very pleased to tell you that OBT has programs that are geared toward equipping New Yorkers in vulnerable communities with the technological skills necessary to be competitive in this job market. It's not easy. Let's hear more about the success of this program. Watch. My name is Ryan Shepard. I'm the director of OBT's Tech Start program. Uh, we run two main programs, one of which is our Cloud Support Engineer Training, or CSE, as well as our Bridge to Cloud Tech Fundamentals Training Program. We launched the program about two and a half years ago, uh, and since then it's been um, a, a, a challenge to, to, to grow the program and to uh, really figure out and hone in on a model that works for all the young people that come through our doors at OBT. Uh, at the same time, it's been uh, a real joy to, uh, to work with the participants that, that we've had uh, and, to, and to see them be successful both in our program and beyond. The last year and a half has been challenging for everyone, uh, personally as well as professionally. Uh, and we also were uh, challenged uh, by the quick uh, shift to remote operations. Uh, that was not a uh, capacity that we had uh, at, at the start of, of quarantine. Um, and we had to figure it out quickly. 
luckily we have a, a team of people who are so dedicated to our young people's success that we're willing to you know, jump in and, and think creatively and um, make sure that that transition, though it had its bumps, though it had its challenges, was as supportive as possible to the young people in our program. Uh, we had to build capacity and we had to build it quick. Um, and in general, you know, learning remotely is, is not ideal. Uh, it, it is hard. Uh, I do have to commend our young people for um, putting in the work and really rising to the challenge. We've been, um, you know, we've been, uh, I think, very heartened to see how dedicated our participants have been to the program and to investing in their future. Uh, we actually, in our program, didn't really see any uh, drop off in attendance. In fact, our attendance has been higher remotely than it was in person. We've seen our participants continue to work towards and pass their certification exams, even though they were maybe taking them at home. And beyond that, move into uh, whether it's remote internships at the end of the program, uh, into remote job opportunities, into college, or into other advanced training programs. Um, it's, it's just really a testament to our team uh, and their dedication and to uh, how resilient our, our participants are. You know, it's fantastic, really fantastic to hear about important programs like this. Not only are they preparing students for success in the digital workplace, but they're also improving the pool of talent in New York City to strengthen the city's overall workforce. And that is really an important thing to do, especially now. But of course, OBT can't do it alone. You know, these are tough times for our young people. They have a lot coming at them online. Some of them get confused. But OBT is setting them straight, helping them stay focused. And they can't do it without supporters. So listen to this and you'll see why your support matters. Hi, good afternoon. Um, my name is Latoya Dennis. I am a senior consultant with Workforce Initiatives uh, underneath CVS Health. And I manage the Workforce Innovation and Talent Center located here in Manhattan, New York. Uh, our goal is to partner with organizations like Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow that will allow us to collaborate and create unique programs that is going to assist and help individuals that are underserved uh, within the workforce or face barriers uh, to employment and connect them to job opportunities that will have a career path where they can continue to grow and develop. Uh, I'm gonna pass it over to my partner who works closely with me in New York City, Joanna, and she's gonna give you a little intro about herself and, and, and the partnership with Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow. Joanna? Thank you, Latoya, and hello, everyone. Again, my name is Joanna Lisboa, and I am an advisor under the Workforce Initiatives Department for CVS Health. Um, you know, collaboratively with Latoya, we cover the New York City and Long Island area for all partnerships and programs that we develop. Um, I have to say that I was looking through my inbox and I realized that my first email with opportunities for a better tomorrow and um, Serena Goodman was in uh, November of 2016. So we've been working together for quite some time with uh, referring applicants to different opportunities that we have available at CVS, career fairs, and the list kind of goes on from there. Um, last year, during the height of the pandemic, uh, Serena Goodman, our contact at OBT, reached out with an idea that she had to better prepare individuals during this virtual world that we were living in for opportunities and the really big need that we had within our retail store. So, of course, I thought it was an awesome idea and wanted to collaborate as much as possible to make it a successful program. And she developed uh, a virtual customer service boot camp. Um, and it was really exciting. We, we had a good number of, of uh, applicants through that virtual boot camp. 
and where we were pretty involved in um, the curriculum and just talking about the different opportunities at CVS, um, as well as our application process. Um, so that was the, you know, that was sort of a turning point of our partnership. And I'm so grateful for Serena for thinking of CVS front of line um, and for continuing to work with us. Um, and I'll pass it over to my colleague Latoya, who will talk about what we've been doing over the last few months with OBT. Thank you for that. So I actually met uh, Serena in April of this year, 2021, and she explained the overview of the virtual customer service bootcamp. And through our connection and continuing to collaborate with each other, we continue to expand on that virtual program and, and find ways to not only focus on customer service for our retail store associate role within CVS, but find ways to be able to incorporate pharmacy service um, customer service and get a lot of the individuals into our pharmacies as technicians. So as we continue to work with Serena and, and meet a lot of the students during our info sessions for opportunities here at CVS Health, uh, Serena was also able to add to the customer service bootcamp, uh, financial literacy, setting up a direct deposit, how to speak to your manager or ask questions, and so much information that a lot of uh, the students are not given during uh, their time in school. So I thought that was a great add to the overall boot camp program. So I am happy to say uh, since I've joined the team and I've met Serena, we have hired 12 uh, participants uh, from each individual uh, cohort uh, as employees, active employees still to this day with CVS Health. Uh, some of them are retail store associates and continuing to grow and others are pharmacy technicians. So I wanna say congratulations to those 12 that are now a part of the CVS Health uh, company, as well as all the other individuals from the cohort that went on to be successful at other partnerships and companies as well. So thank you. What a wonderful evening, right? I just love hearing about these firsthand stories that reveal the true impact of programs like OBT. And I think the testimonials that we heard from today really bring to life the theme of this event. I'm going to say it again. Building futures, recovery, and beyond. Makes sense, right? That's what OBT is doing, building futures, helping with the recovery. These stories remind us that every little bit counts. There is a saying, it takes a village to raise a child. We're that village. And I don't think anyone would disagree with that. And along those lines, I would also say it takes a city to raise a community. And that's exactly what OBT is doing to help young people, individuals, and families in underserved communities throughout New York City. So again, on this Giving Tuesday, you have the chance to be part of this city, of this village, to help break the cycle of poverty and inequity through education, job training, and employment by donating to OBT. Your contributions will directly help young people and young adults achieve financial independence and become valuable members of the city's workforce. We can't do it without you. We really can't. In this post-pandemic period of recovery, there is no better way to help them by supporting OBT right now. No amount is too much. No amount is too little. Everything will go for a very important cause. They're our future. The young people today are our future leaders, our future elected officials, our future doctors, our lawyers, our workforce. We have to invest in them. It's not really an option because if we don't, we'll pay later. So let's pay now on this Giving Tuesday. So you can donate by going to obtjobs.org slash donate, or let's kick it old school. I'm old school. Mail a check. We still love your checks. And you can mail it to the address you see right there on your screen. You can still donate by clicking below and making Giving Tuesday 
a very special one for this organization. I got to tell you, it's been my pleasure to host. I, I Can I say something personal? I grew up in Queens. I grew up in public housing and despair was all around us. There was no OBT when I was growing up. There was no OBT when I was growing up. And I saw a lot of my young friends drown. They drowned because there was no one to save them. There were no programs like this. No one cared. They let the children drown. I'm here today because I don't want to see any more children drown. I don't want to see any more children fall through the cracks in the richest city in the country. OBT is doing the work and they have earned your support. So I want to thank you sincerely as a native New Yorker who also mentors young people. I didn't forget where I came from. I know you won't either. This organization has earned your respect and your support. Thank you for following your heart on this Giving Tuesday. And please don't forget to connect with OBT through LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, the OBT website. You can see it all at the bottom of your screen. Listen, don't forget the young people who need you. Thank you. I'm Shara Wills, your friend from Spectrum News, New York One. Hope to see you every night at 10 o'clock or Sunday mornings on my talk show, In Focus. Take good care. And I salute all of the workers at OBT. Keep doing what you're doing. You are making the city a better place. Wishing you all the best as we enter the holiday season. Thank you and good night.